my name is Amanda Lentz, and for EAC 585, Integrating Technology into Training Programs, I'm going to focus on a learning theory called connectivism, which is a theory for the digital age. Prior to getting into what connectivism is, it's important to understand the three main learning theories that are currently out there, which were developed when learning was not impacted by technology. Behaviorism is all about behavior change. Cognitivism is viewed as almost a computer, where learning is a process of inputs managed in short-term memory and coded for long-term recall. And constructivism, where learners create knowledge as they attempt to understand their experiences. Unfortunately, there are limitations with these theories, as they are concerned with the actual process of learning and not the value of what is being learned. Connectivism is an alternative theory to what uh, the other three bring. It was articulated by George Siemens in 2005, and it's the integration of principles explored by chaos, network, and complexity. Its foundation is built that learning is a process that incurs within nebulous environments of shifting core elements, and learning is not entirely under the control of the individual. Learning is actionable knowledge, which can also reside outside of ourselves, such as within an organization or database, and is connecting and is focused on connecting specialized information sets. And those connections enable us to learn more are more important than our current state of knowing. And it's driven by the understanding that decisions are based on rapidly altering foundations. New information is continually being acquired, and the ability to draw distinctions between important and unimportant information is vital. The ability for individuals or organizations to recognize when new information alters the landscape based on decisions made yesterday is also critical. The principles of connectivism include learning and knowledge rest in diversity of opinions. Learning is a process of connecting specialized nodes or information sources, and learning may reside in non-human appliances. The capacity to know is more critical than what is currently known, and nurturing and maintaining connections is needed to facilitate continual learning. The ability to see connections between fields, ideas, and concepts is a core skill. And the currency that people can possess is accurate, up-to-date knowledge, is the intent of all connectivist learning activities. And decision-making itself is a learning process. Choosing what to learn and the meaning of incoming information is seen through the lens of a shifting reality. While there is a right answer now, it may be wrong tomorrow due to alterations in the information climate affecting the decision. There are applications outside of education, and the, uh, such as within an organization. The starting point of connectivism is the individual and their personal knowledge network. They bring that into any organization or enterprise. They feed the organization and institution which in turn feeds the network, which is, which is then relied back to the individual for them to make those connections and gain that knowledge. This cycle of knowledge development, personal to network to organization, allows learners to remain current. In conclusion, the theory of connectivism focuses on the fact that the pipe is more important than the content within the pipe. Our ability to learn what we need for tomorrow is more important than what we know. The ability to plug into sources to gain knowledge is a vital skill. And as knowledge continues to grow and evolve, access to what is needed is more important than what the learner currently possesses. Connectivism presents a model of learning that acknowledges the tectonic shifts in society, where learning is no longer an internal, individualistic activity. How people work and function is altered when new tools are utilized. Connectivism provides insight into learning skills and tasks needed for learners to flourish in a digital era.